Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a seamless pattern inside of Affinity. There are a lot of different ways how you can create a seamless pattern, but the following method I'm going to show you is, in my opinion, the easiest, simplest and fastest method I have seen up until now. For that you want to start with creating a new file, page width and page height of 5000 points and has a DPI of 300. To make sure that the transparent background is selected and the artboards are not, you can just click on create document. Once you're in the file, you can see that this checkerboard pattern is in the background. This has a purpose. Later on, you will understand why we chose a transparent background. And to start, we want to put a square onto the canvas. For that, we choose the rectangle to make sure that the snapping is enabled and then you can see that it snaps to the upper left corner and you just drag it to the lower right corner and I'm just gonna change the tool and the stroke so that you can see it better also increase the size of the stroke a bit and once you are done with that you can select this and now we want to turn it so that it is more like a diamond on the page we want to turn it to 45 degrees that you can choose the turn handle and then press on shift to snap it to 10 degrees increments. And then just let me zoom out. We want that all the corner points of the square are on the edge of the canvas for that. You can select one of them and press down shift so that the square gains the ratio and if you click command as well all the corners will get moved inside simultaneously so you just have to do it once. Once it hits the edge of the canvas, you're done. We want to change this square to be a symbol for that. We go on vector. Then you have the option here to create a symbol. You can see that an orange line appeared here to show that it is a symbol now. We want to have a 3 times 3 grid of these. So for that we just in the symbol, command C and command V. And dragging it on top, pick here so that it snaps to the points. and. We can also click on hashtag so that the clipped areas are shown as well. You could also do it with view and then clip to canvas. And we're going to repeat this process. Some could also do press down option and then just drag the symbol across. That works on the Mac as well to just duplicate it. It's quite useful. Then it's a bit simpler than with command C and command V. Once you're done with creating all of these symbols, you can select one and then that you want to have the fill in transparent and you can see that all the other squares will have a transparent thing as well that's the magic with symbols everything that is done to one symbol will get tied to the other symbols as well but for now we can just focus on the middle square so we can move all of these others and we can also lock them so that we don't move them around accidentally once you're done creating this three by three grid you can also save this as a template so just go to a file and click on save as and then always if you want to make a new seamless pattern you can just open that file and save it as the new seamless pattern you want to make so that's quite handy now we can zoom back in and also clip to the canvas again you want to port some of the graphics that you want to use for your seamless pattern you can either use your own art to do that or for example you could find some free stock images already found some pictures that i like so i'll just copy all of those insert them in here and charge them a bit now i want to adjust it so that it looks better inside of this diamond shape so just click on one of them and move them around a bit so that it looks a bit more natural can also copy some elements. I'm quite happy with that. Now the magic will happen if you select all of these objects and then move them into the symbol. You can see that there are quite a few objects now. Some of them are also overlapping, so you have to work on that a bit to fix that. So select, for example, this B and move it somewhere so that we don't have so many overlapping symbols also unlock the group of the other squares so that you can for example also move the spear around so it's easier if you have it locked you can only move these inside of the little square once you're happy with the layout you can enable the clip to mask again and see that it got copied to all of the other squares as well 
Now we're basically done with our seamless pattern. You can, you can clip it to the canvas again. Then you also don't want to have this line or this outline the rectangle so you can toggle the visibility and you can export this uh, as a PNG file. Just go and export it and save it somewhere you like. Now you can use this seamless pattern in any file. And so here you can, for example, just go to the one and drag it in there. Now you can zoom out a bit and increase the size a bit and something like that. And when you then put it in the corner and duplicate it, you can see that it fits perfectly. So you can see the same on here, just align it perfectly and down here. Like that, you have a seamless pattern which you can tile on a whole surface. There is, however, an easier way to do that will be by, for example, selecting the rectangle tool and going over the whole file. Then you have to click on the fill tool and you have the option to select this type. Here you want to click on bitmap and then select the seamless pattern file that you just created. Click on open. If you did that, it will be placed inside of this rectangle. And you can see that you have two handles and a middle point. This center point you can just move it around. And with the two handles, you can place it up and rotate it as well. You can place it however you like. The reason why we chose a file with a transparent background and also chose graphics with a transparent background is that you now can, in this file, pick whatever background you want. Just to show you, you can the rectangle tool, and then just do it like that to whatever color you want or like. Move it back behind this. And now you can see that the this pattern is on top of the larger rectangle. You could also make a gradient. It is not possible if you put a color background behind the seamless pattern square that you have to repeat and repeat and repeat. So that's quite handy that you have a lot of options to do whatever you want right now. Hope this video was helpful and you now know how you can make a simple seamless pattern. If you have any questions regarding Canva or Affinity, just put them down in the comments below.